Dipshuki here with a review of the Wish Factory Kawaii Cubes. And I've mentioned these on my Twitter account because uh, when they first came out, the first time I saw them, I picked up uh, the Flash, Supergirl, and the Green Arrow because of my love for DC TV, obviously. Even though they are the comic book representations, but I'm reading comics now, so it's cool. But anyway, uh, it's an absolutely huge huge line of toys, uh, similar in vain to Disney's uh, Tsum Tsum series with uh, Disney and Marvel. Uh, Wish Factory makes these kawaii cubes. They're stackable little plush, obviously shaped in the form of a cube, with an adorable representation of your favorite characters. And I say characters because they have a ton of licenses under the belt. They have Star Trek, they have DC, they have Warner Brother properties. Um, they're going to have Power Rangers soon, and TMNT, and Yu-Gi-Oh!, and WWE, and much, much more to come on the horizon. So I'm really excited. These things are absolutely adorable, and I've been meaning to pick more up, but uh, the kind folks at the Wish Factory sent me an email, and I gladly accepted, and a big old box of cubes arrived on my doorstep, and I couldn't be happier. These things are adorable. So what we have in front of us right now are three different versions of Katana from Suicide Squad. So Suicide Squad came out, and of course they had a full line of Kawaii cubes in all different sizes for the various characters in the movie. So here's Katana. I really like Katana. Not a huge presence in the movie uh, that I would have enjoyed, but I like Katana in other representations uh, throughout the DC franchise for sure. So here is Katana, Katana, and Katana. Uh, so these right here, I'm going to scoot them out of the way. These right here are the small cubes, and these run about $4.95 at most major retailers. You can pick these up at Target, FYE, Spencer's, GameStop, um, online and a bunch of various retailers so they are hitting a lot of major retailers and a lot of shops and malls and such like so pretty easy to get a hold of these these are the small 495 ones and are obviously the easiest to collect not only are they small they don't take up that much space they're certainly definitely affordable I just said certainly definitely that's how we roll around here and shoot your reviews. So, um, I like these. These are the size class that I particularly like the most. Um, it's easy to get a full set of them. And you can line them up and stack them up, make cool pyramids and stuff, just like I do the Geo Cubes and my Geo reviews. Uh, so, I definitely enjoy these the most right here at the $5 size class. Now, if you want something a little bit bigger, have a little bit more presence on your desk, then the $14.95 medium size class is for you. Go ahead and uh, put those two together right there. They're about four times as big as the little ones, give or take, about four in height and, or two in height and two across. So about four times bigger, give or take, than the little um, mini size class. So the medium size class is pretty cool. I was contemplating getting one of these, but never got around to it. Uh, and I got a nice little selection of different characters to show off in this size class as well. So pretty neat. If you want something a little bit bigger, then this one might be for you. If you want something really big, possibly use it as a pillow, uh, slide it into a uh, display of some sorts, then you might want to take a look at the large size class. And unfortunately, Katana here is the only member of the large size class I own to show off today, but uh, <laughs> she's definitely really cool. Uh, there's a lot of give and a lot of fluff, so if you wanted to use her as a pillow, you most certainly could. You kind of make her significantly less kawaii as you squish her to death. But uh, they are nice, plush. Each of these do have um, beanies down in the bottom to help stabilize them on a display. And I really like it. You got a little hair back here, even though it kind of looks like a cape. But that's how we do hair. And uh, I, I love these so much. Uh, these cost $24.95 at most major retailers. So definitely the most pricey of the bunch. But if you have a certain character you just absolutely love, consider taking a look at the large size class for these uh, to get the most bang for your buck. Because it's, it's the biggest. Ha <laughs> ha. So Wish Factory were kind enough to send me five different medium-sized class ones to take a look at, uh, four of which were from the Suicide Squad collection. We obviously took a look at uh, Katana already, and on top of that we have Diablo, Joker, and Harley Quinn. Now Joker's not really a member of the Suicide Squad, but he was featured, I want to say heavily, but most of his scenes were cut, but that's a topic for a different day. 
All right, here, so he's in his suit, he's looking angry, he is damaged, and all sorts of fun stuff, but uh, these are absolutely adorable uh, little representations. Uh, Diablo here is probably my favorite. I was super fond of Diablo in the actual movie, and uh, I just like the way that he looks in the little kawaii cube form, because he's not really a cute dude, uh, but the kawaii cube definitely makes him cute in his own little evil sinister way. I really, really like the Diablo, so I'm really cool to I'm really cool. I guess so. <laughs> I'm really glad to have him in that size class. And here is Harley. Absolutely adorable. Uh, the smiles and the reds and the blues and the little monster on her shirt. Uh, <laughs> absolutely cute. Um the little pigtails kinda have a tendency of kind of going forward a bit. But uh, that, that's certainly not really an issue. I don't know. It's it's absolutely adorable. Like I said, we have Katana. Just a real quick look at Katana. But Wish Factory didn't think I had enough Harley uh, in my life. So they also sent a, one of the DC Collection uh, Harley Kawaii Cubes in the medium size class. This is the normal like Batman animated series-esque Harley design that most fans uh, are used to by now. Definitely really cute, so we can have some Harley and Harley going out and wrecking the town. So, uh, as you can see just right here, like, it's just really fun to stack these. Uh, you can make all sorts of really cool displays once you get, like, a full cast of characters, or if you want to mix and match different franchises. Um, obviously, the ones, the medium-sized classes I have are all DC characters, but uh, they're definitely super duper cute. Um, I think medium is probably uh, the nicest size class, because it's not too big and it's not too small. So you still get a lot of the uh, etched in detail, etched stitched in detail, I think is what I was looking for. And uh, it just, it's really cute. So you got some pocket sized ones, you got some nice ones that are just like medium ranged, hang out on the desk, then you have the big old katana that just goes Don't just think I have katana, I've got a lot more. <laughs> to take a look at. So they were really awesome people to work with for this video and I've got all sorts of, of kawaii cubes to look at. We have Star Trek, we have DC Warner Brothers, Batman vs Superman, Suicide Squad. So where do we start? Let's start with Star Trek. Starting with Star Trek because it's a franchise I actually know the least about. I've never really watched Star Trek, never really been into Star Trek. Uh, so these are kind of what they are. I might do a giveaway for these or uh, something like that. I'm not really sure yet. I will let everyone know via my social media accounts. But these are adorable. If you're a fan of Star Trek and want something cute in your life, definitely take a look at these. Now these are available in the multiple different size classes. Not all characters are available in all size classes. Uh, for more information, kind of poke around the web. Check out quietcubes.com uh, for lists of various... Uh, Characters that are available in the different size classes. So obviously it wouldn't be Star Trek without Spock. Here's a quick look at the tags for these characters, since my larger ones did not have tags with them. Take a look inside. It has the full collection of six. We have five of the six. Uh, we did not get that dude right there. Whoever he may be, because like I said, I don't know Star Trek characters. I know Spock and I know Kirk. So we got them two hanging out right there. And this is Uhura over here because I can read tags. Lieutenant Uhura. My bad. So she, she's adorable. Uh, and this is uh, Orion Girl. Evidently important enough to warrant a kawaii cube. And I know this one because I'm not totally stupid. We have a Tribble. And what's kind of fun about the Tribble is that it's not even really a cube. Uh, if you feel him, he he is vaguely cube shaped, but it's a lot smaller than the other ones, and most of his mass is just taken up by the fur. <laughs> so if uh, honestly, if it didn't have the tags, it would kind of just be a fur ball, and I suppose that's what a triple is at the end of the day. But uh, I don't know. I I love the triple a lot just because it's so silly. Uh, and it doesn't really have as good a still. Nope, nope, you can stack pretty good with the triple still. So this is an example of the Star Trek line. There is definitely more on the horizon 
but these are the six that are currently available as of right now. So here's an example of the Warner Brothers side of things with all these different characters from all your favorite Hanna-Barbera cartoons, Looney Tunes, all that fun stuff. We have Sylvester, we have Tweety, Fred, Barney, Scooby-Doo right here, and of course we have many, many others. If we take a look at a Tweety Bird's tag from the Looney Tunes series, you can take a look at all of the currently available Warner Brothers franchises. You have Bugs, uh, Tweety, Sylvester, Tasmanian Devil, Marvin, Porky, uh, Tom, Jerry... Uh, Yogi, Boo Boo, Fred, Barney, Scooby, Shaggy, and then Dorothy and the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. So you got a full range of different uh, franchises and shows to pick from when you're looking at the Warner Brothers uh, series of Kawaii Cubes. Very, very cute. Uh, my grandma absolutely adores Sylvester and Tweety, so I might actually give these to her because <laughs> I think she'll really like these a lot. Uh, very, very adorable. And of course we have uh, Fred and Bonnie. Good old Flintstones going on right there. They make little, like, good beanies, too. Like, you can whip them at people. I wouldn't recommend doing that because they're too cute. Why would you want to throw this? Like, look at how cute Scooby is. Scooby-Dooby-Doo, where are you? Coming right at you. No. <laughs> that would just be mean. But, yeah, I don't know. I love these. These are so adorable. Not a huge fan of this series. And it's not because they're bad. It's just my, my interest in, in owning like the Looney Tunes and stuff just isn't completely there as opposed to the DC guys. And speaking of, we got a huge array of DC characters too from all different styles of comic book and television uh, representation. Uh, so like I said, here is the Green Arrow. I have him already, so I'll definitely be doing a giveaway of this guy. So please keep an eye on my social media accounts, preferably probably Twitter. Uh, but it'll pop up at the other ones as well. So here's Green Arrow right here. Really cool. Love Green Arrow. He's got a really awesome comic going on right now. And here's a look at the currently available uh, DC side of uh, the Kawaii Cubes. You got Batman, Superman, Robin, Flash, Nightwing, Green Arrow, Joker, Riddler, Poison Ivy, Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn, Aquaman, the Penguin, Supergirl, Catwoman, and Batgirl. So tons of different characters and different representations. And this is just the DC uh, part of things. This doesn't actually include like Batman vs Superman Suicide Squad either. This is just like the comics and animation representations of these characters. So you have Green Arrow right here. Here is Harley. She got a little bit squished. So we have two different size classes of this Harley. We have showed off the medium one earlier. And here is the cute little mini one. Poke. And uh, Nightwing, one of my personal favorite DC comic characters. I love, love, love Nightwing. So really awesome that they included him right off the bat in the first collection of DC Kawaii Cubes. Pretty neat. And of course you have Batgirl. Cute little hair and cape. So you got two little, little flappies back here with hair and cape. Really, really cute. Look at how happy she is. She's just so cute. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. And Batman, uh, kind of similar to his original, really, really original outfit uh, with the blue instead of the black. So that's really cool. I dig that a lot. And here is Superman. So they can fight each other because apparently that's what they do now. Even though they're friends. So let's, you know, well, I, I know the story. I've seen the movie and I know the comic story. I know what I'm doing. I swear. I promise. They're friends. All right, so let's jump into DC movies. With Batman vs. Superman, we'll take a look at Suicide Squad immediately after that. Um, but real quick before we start Batman vs. Superman, there is actually uh, more to the DC side of things. Um, this is the, the Dark Knight version of Batman from the Dark Knight trilogy. Hanging out right here. It does have Diamond on it. Right there. Is it exclusive to Diamond? Diamond series. Okay, they're different. Uh, Quiet Cubes reimagined. That's just the generic listing. I don't What makes them Diamond series? Series 1. We got Series 1. We have Series... So these are part of the Diamond series. I'm not really sure what that means. They do have the Diamond distribution logo on them. So they might be exclusive to places that order from Diamond distribution. So they might not be available at major retailers. And instead will only be found at places like uh, comic book shops and stuff that order from Diamond Distribution. 
Not entirely sure about that. If I can find more information, I will include it in the blog post for this video. But here is a look at the uh, various Diamond series releases that we got going on. We have different versions of Batman, Bizarro, Doomsday. I almost said Deadshot, <laughs> Deathstroke. Uh, Green Lantern, I need to get that one. Um, what's his face? The, the red dude. Red Hood, maybe? I can't really tell who that is. Uh, Hawkman, a different version of Harley, different version of Nightwing, and a different version of Poison Ivy. So not huge differences compared to the normal uh, versions of the characters, but something to keep in mind. Uh, now, here is the Superman from Batman vs. Superman. Again, diamond, and the fact they even have a little diamond etched into the back of them to prove how cool and exclusive they are. <laughs> so the Batman vs. Superman series includes Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, who is in all the merchandising but was barely in the movie, and Armored Batman. So I'm going to have to hunt down Armored Batman and Wonder Woman to complete my collection over here because we have Superman right here, like I said, with a little diamond on there. We have Batman in his normal outfit, not the armored outfit. He's kind of blushing. That's kind of adorable, not going to lie. Uh, and no diamond on him for some reason. I don't know why some of them do and some of them don't. Again, if I find out more information, I will include it in the blog post. And Aquaman. He looks very tired. He's very, very tired, but that's just his design. Uh, and his long, flowing hair. He's got the diamond. Why don't Batman have the diamond? I don't know. I'll have to ask my contact and uh, see if they can explain the diamond thing for me. But really cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to picking up these other two. Uh, hopefully I can find them because I would like to finish my set. And finally, here is the Suicide Squad collection. And I believe this is a full set. Uh, there's no tags on these because I think they were kind of pre-release uh, review copies. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure on the full set of these. Again, check out kawaiicubes.com and such for full listings of who's available and who's to come. But I think this is a, the full range of the Suicide Squad collection thus far. Hopefully they make more because I would absolutely love for a Captain Boomerang one. Uh, <laughs> Captain Boomerang was absolutely amazing in that movie. And it would be really cool to have a dead shot that like, has no mask. There is a Suicide Suicide Squad. I can't ever say Suicide Squad correctly half the time. Uh, collection at Barnes & Noble that are all exclusive. They're uh, different colors and a little bit different material, I believe. Uh, if you want to check that out at Barnes & Noble or BarnesandNoble.com. Uh, but here is the Suicide Squad collection. Like I said, we took a look at Katana already. Uh, not my favorite of the bunch, but uh, definitely up there. Uh, these are all really, really good. Killer Croc's the only one that kind of got me because it took me a minute to realize who he was because I just saw, like, this side. I didn't see his face, so I'm like, well, who is red? Uh, but this is to represent the hoodie that he usually had up to try to hide his face, so that is really cool. And it's all, like, little etched-in details for his little uh, scales. There we go. That's the word. Uh, so that is a uh, really nice, really nice job on him. Uh, here is Harley. We took a look at the medium-sized version of her. Here is the little one. Same details, but just in a nice smaller package. Again, these uh, ponytails, I really wish they were like positioned on the side somewhere, but they're still definitely really cute. I love, love, love these. And here is Joker. Again, we took a look at the medium size right there, as well as uh, Diablo. So here is all of them. Diablo is even cuter, tiny, somehow. He like breaks the, the cute barrier. I think it's his teeth. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is about the teeth, but uh, they get me. They understand who I am inside. And here is Deadshot, uh, probably my favorite character of the movie in general. And uh, it looks really cool in kawaii Q form. Now, obviously, a little bit less kawaii than some of the other characters, like, like Harley here, because he's wearing a mask and has no emotion whatsoever. But that's what I'm kind of hoping they do an unmasked uh, kawaii Q because I need a kawaii Q of Will Smith in my life. Uh, but right now, this is the closest we got. Love Deadshot in the movie, and the character design is just really cool as well. So it's really neat to have a little cube of him. Um, I believe the... I think this is the pack on BarnesandNoble.com. It's either Diablo or Killer Croc. I don't remember exactly, but like I said, they are a little bit different than the normal retail versions. If you want to check that out, that is $20 at Barnes & Noble for the set of four. But uh, anyway, uh, that uh, is our Suicide Squad collection. So that is our walk through the currently available Kawaii Cube series. Now, like I said, this isn't everyone out. We took a look at those tags. 
uh, and take a look at a quick, quick like sketched look at all the characters that are currently available and there's many more to come like I said uh, just at Power Morphicon recently they shown off a couple of the Power Ranger series kawaii cubes they announced that they are doing licenses for Yu-Gi-Oh and TMNT and WWE as well as continuing the uh, WB and DC licenses that they currently have now so really cool I love how widespread that this is we, we've got like cartoons and comics and now like anime franchises and nostalgia franchises like uh, Power Rangers and TMNT it's really really cool there's a little bit of something for everyone in this line and I think that is what makes it very great so not only do you have a little bit to pick and choose from in terms of your licenses and uh, favorite characters you can get them small medium or large just like a good old meal at a fast food joint you have all the choices in the world have it your way Ba da ba ba ba, and all the other various slogans you can think of. I adore these. Um, like I said, when I saw them, I picked up a Green Arrow, Flash, and Supergirl right off the bat just to kind of feel that DC TV love. And just because they were so cute, I'm a big fan of the Disney Tsum Tsums as well. And so I have these in my life. Uh, it makes them a little bit different, but uh, still similar. And uh, I love that a lot. I'm really big into DC right now uh, between the comics, the shows, and the movies. Uh, so to have little adorable little plushy representations of my favorite DC characters right now is really, really cool. I'm not too big on the Star Trek or the WB properties, um, but if you're a fan of those particular facets, then of course you will definitely love these. I mean, they're absolutely adorable. Tweety, Sylvester, Scooby, uh, the Tribbles, Spock, Kirk, whatever it may be. Absolutely fantastic little products and at $5, $15, and $25 respectively for the different size classes, it's definitely affordable as well and I, I really appreciate that uh, to say the very least. $5 for one of the mini ones is not bad at all. If you're a fan of any of these characters whatsoever and want a cute little cube in your life, be sure to pick these up. I will definitely be taking a look at the TMNT and Power Rangers ones in the future, as well as hopefully some more DC TV ones, or DC TV ones in general. Do that, Wish Factory, please. Like, actual Arrow and Flash and Legends of Tomorrow kawaii cubes. That That's what I want, <laughs> uh, for sure. But I love these, uh, and huge, 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 like giant katana-sized huge Thanks to the Wish Factory for making this review possible, uh, wanting to partner up with me and sending these my way. I definitely appreciate it. The ones that I do not want from this collection will find a happy home for sure. So again, huge thanks to them for this. Um, I could not be happier. So that about does it for this review. If you like it, go ahead and blast that like button, comment below, and subscribe for more. So as always, thanks for watching, take care, and have a great one. Bye.